Is your sight glass tough enough to handle the pressure? Don't let inferior glass shatter your reputation and safety record. Raise your glass with durable borosilicate glass from LJ Star. At LJ Star, we have hundreds of thousands of sanitary clamps installed in process facilities around the world. So we've heard customers ask some of the same questions again and again. You might have some of those same questions too. Here's a few more common things we hear customers ask about. What effect does a different profile have on a clamp's performance? A superior clamp design adds many details that lead to a better clamp performance and less maintenance. These include a wider profile, tighter tolerances to ensure higher precision from part to part, and investment cast parts for less tooling degradation from one batch to the next. What do I need to know about how my clamps are fabricated? Investment casting produces better quality hygienic clamps than sand cast ones. Durable molds are used leading to better tool quality than from a sand casting process. Which gasket material is best and what size should we specify? Temperature ratings and resistance to degradation are key factors in determining the best gasket material for your application. When deciding on gasket material, also consider compatibility of the material being transferred, including cleaning solutions, along with the operating pressure and temperature of your system. At our site, workers tap the clamp with a plastic mallet before tightening the nut. Is this the recommended way to install sanitary clamps? Tapping the clamp with a plastic mallet is a good practice to ensure that proper torque is achieved when tightening. After ferrules are welded, tapping the clamp in place with a hammer to align the ferrules ensures that the union settles into place prior to tightening the nut. We couldn't open our clamp because the bolt and nut were fused together. What happened? If you're using the wrong clamp for your application, its bolt and nut can be bound or locked together, making it hard or even impossible to open the clamp to service the connection. This is known as galling. Anti-galling is ensured by using a resident Nitronic 60 stainless steel alloy, along with a slightly softer 316 grade steel for the nut and bolt. Should you manually tighten the clamp or use a tool? You can achieve the proper degree of clamp tightness by using an approved torque tightening tool. Tighten the hygienic clamp jaws to ensure that neither over nor under tightening occurs. Always tighten clamps according to the appropriate manufacturer torque specifications. Check out more tutorial videos and other hygienic clamp information that can help at ljstar.com.